Okay guys, um, hey, I wanted to show you something here. Since I've got so many uh, people asking me about polishing these guns, uh, I'm going to show you basically how I do it. This is a um, model 640 Smith & Wesson 357. I've already kind of polished it, and I'm going to show you basically how I do it to get it in this kind of finish. These are normally satin finish. Okay, so basically you want to do, you know, of course, make sure the gun is empty. I would probably just uh, take it like this. You want to get, uh, this is the stuff, Mother's Mag and aluminum polish. Uh, you need a rag. You could cut it up into some strips if you want so you have some clean. And uh, let's just shut it first. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Mother's. Back up here a little. And just grab it. Uh, and you want to just take a little bit on there, like a little bunch of it. You'll know it's getting clean when it starts getting dirty. Go a little bit better. Now just you just take it and rub it kind of on the gun like this. And just you know it's really doesn't really matter. You just rub it and you'll see it starts getting dirty because it's sticking with the stainless off. Let's see how that gets. And you just basically you work the gun like this. And first you can get a lot of it on there if you want. You can do a, like I say a little spot at a time just like this. Um, or you can just keep going like this. Do it while you're watching TV. You know when you get free time. You can see already how that's starting to shine. Look at that. And go all along there. Um, and you need a little bit more because see how it's dirty. Uh, use a clean, and you can flip it over and use a clean part of the cloth if you want to just wipe it off. Let's see how clean that gets there. See the kind of shine you get on that? Basically, and then just you know, get a little bit more, blah blah blah. And you can just take the gun if you want to and just saturate it. Stuff is kind of stinky, so you might want to do it where it's kind of unlighted. I mean, it won't hurt you, it's not dangerous or anything, but you know, if the old lady's out or around the house, <laughs> she might be screaming at you because it smells a little, uh, I know. I used to, you could do it in a garage or something if you got to work area there and just, you know, you just load it up like that, you know, I've got like a crap load down there, and then you could just, yeah. the harder you rub, the more of a polish you're going to get, see that, especially up in there, but what you're going to want to do is probably take the rag, um, your towel, and make areas like this so you can get in between like over there you know if you want to get in here but I would just you know take it you use the one side and then just use the other side and you buff it and you see how that comes out like I say this this gun was was not like this this gun was just the scent so you're you're really making this pretty nice Really, it's just really. Some are more work than others, but I've already done this once. I just pop out the cylinder. Okay, just rub it. You see, just about all my handguns you see on, um, you know, the revolvers at least I've polished them up. I've done well. See how this you'll see just see that black coming off there? Reaching the cylinder. Just you just keep going. So just keep doing it's not gonna hurt nothing. You can only make it look better. Between there again, just the fluid it I guess to the barrel. You could do it in here. There's a lot of places you're doing this kind. And then like I say. 
you can use the same thing to polish your action inside the gun, the hammer and everything. You take the whole rag over like this. And just keep it out, just get up in there and kind of flood it. Flood the area. Careful don't drop screws off of it. That's what I'm famous for. But you kind of got the idea here on how you shine this up. See how nice that's looking? Look at the shine on this. I'm not quite done with it. I wanted to show you that, but I'm going to continue cleaning this out myself and buffing it up a little. Which is even like on there. It's not a lot of work. Uh, you don't want to make it a lot of work. You want to do it every once in a while. It's just like that. Look at the shine of that. I mean, that looks really nice. So I just wanted to show you that, guys. Hope it's educational. And then the same thing on this. You can do these little parts like this. Same thing on this. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.